today on Be Something Wonderful. Being nothing gives you everything. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I had several great sessions yesterday, and I want to talk about a few of them that actually had a, a similar idea or theme that they wanted to talk about. With one of them, he, this client, he said, you know, Tom, I just don't feel like I've accomplished a lot in my life. I, you know, and compared to my friends and others, I feel like a failure. And, and, and you know, as I, and then lately the circumstances and the conditions have been really getting me down. They've been really the opposite of what I want or what, or what I would feel would be fulfillment for me. And, and I, just don't, I just don't know how to get out of it. I'm really not feeling like I'm moving forward. And then another one, um, she said something very similar. She was saying that she was feeling alone in the universe, right? That a lot of circumstances came up that, were, were, that she judged as negative. And she was already struggling with something else that she was trying to get going in her life with, with respect to her career. And it just didn't seem like any of it was working out. So guys, I want to hit these ideas today and more. So here's what I want to say. But in both cases, they were defining themselves by the 3D conditions and circumstances. They were defining who they are and their identity by these temporary conditions. Right. And, and, and remember, those that those temporary conditions only represent less than one percent of ultimate reality, less than one percent of who you really are. Right. And and you're thinking the unseen, the stuff that you can't see, the potential that you are, that you haven't haven't that you feel that you haven't realized, you feel like that's nothing when really that's everything. Right. Being nothing is everything. And that's really what I want to hit. Because remember what the Dr. Joe Dispenza said, you're more nothing than something. Right. So I really want to hit this today. Let's start and let's step into it. First, I want to say you're all spirit. You're all good or God and you are all fulfillment. That idea of non-fulfillment is a perception. Right. It's you looking at less than one percent of ultimate reality, less than one percent of who you really are and feeling and seeing yourself as unfulfilled, as a failure, as alone in the universe. Right. When you can never be alone, you are the universe. The universe is within you. The 3D world is within you. It's all within you. There's nothing outside of you. Right. Through your 3D senses and core belief in duality and linear existence, you filter out more than 99.9% of whom you really are, that unseen potential. You're all potential, mostly. You identify with the less than 0.1% of physical reality as your entire life. Remember, God, you're, part, you're, you're one with spirit, you're one with God, and God is not a failure. That's impossible. <laughs> Do you see this? So remember that quote from um, Dr. Joe Dispenza. It, you don't perceive. So I just want to say he says this. If an atom is ninety nine point nine 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 percent energy and point zero 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 one percent physical substance, then you're actually more nothing than something. Right. You just perceive your life through the through your 3D senses. Right. And remember, you don't just perceive your life through the 3D senses. You create it. Do you hear this? You're not simply just perceiving that that point one percent through your senses, you're creating it. You're deciding what that that point that less than point one percent will be with your thoughts, feelings, beliefs and assumptions. In other words, you're deciding who you will be, your relationship to the world and others. This is a great quote from Joe. If an if an atom is ninety nine point nine 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 percent of energy, I've talked about this in many videos now and point zero zero one percent of physical substance and you're actually more nothing than something. But that nothing is everything. Why? Because that that nothing is pure potential. It's pure spirit. Right. You're mostly unseen. This is who you think you are. This small, limited you 
that feels like a failure or feels like life's not going their way or feels like they're alone in the universe when really you're not seeing that 99.9% .9 of the unseen you, the non-physical you, the you that's mostly potential. Here you're saying I'm a failure or I feel alone. Here I'm a success. I'm one with all of it. That's where you want, that's where you want to be. That's where you would like to be, but you keep your focus here and believe that's all you are. But you're mostly this and you're all this. So it's the physical you plus the non-physical you is the all you. Pure potential, right? Non-fulfillment or feeling like a failure or feeling like things aren't going your way is just a limited perception of ultimate reality. It's a belief that you're equal to or less than, hear this, than your manifested 3D conditions. You believe you either are those conditions or you're even less than those conditions. You can't, you can't move those conditions. So you're feeling powerless against the 3D conditions or you're feeling equal to them, that that's who you are and there's nothing you can do about it. Do you see this? Remember, you are more nothing than something, but that nothing is everything. And we want to hold on to that 0.1% and not give it up and say that's who we are. And really that's the nothing. It's giving up nothing for everything. <laughs> so really let's hit this. So, so to, this is what Dr. Joe Dispenza says. So to change, because you're more nothing than something or you're more potential than anything else, right? That 99.9% .9 is all potential. So to change, you must be greater than all things physical in your life. Be greater than your body, environment, and time, right? Linear time, or the body you think you are, or the conditions you think you are. To think and act greater than your currently perceived 3D conditions, right? That's what, remember, this is ultimate reality, but you're seeing only this, that little dot, that 0.1% of physical seeing manifests reality, and that's who you think you are. When really you're this, you are ultimate reality, you are everything. That, that, you, you can't help but feel not unfulfilled when you're just looking at that 0.1% and believing that's all you are, right? But remember, it's not even that. In that 0.1% is all of ultimate reality. It's all within you. It's all one, it's all a hologram, and it's non-local, and it's everywhere, right? That every part contains the whole, so even that 0.1% is the whole. You're never unfulfilled. You can only believe and perceive you are. That's big. So, remember, nothing comes to you, it comes from you. In both cases with these clients, they're looking for things to change in the outside, for their life to get better, for something to come to them, but it all comes from you. You are all that. Remember, you're more nothing than something. You're, you're more invisible, unseen potential than anything else. And that potential comes out of you. From perceive, you gotta go from perceiving more of the 99.9% .9 unseen you. Nothing comes to you, it comes from you, it comes from perceiving more of that unseen potential of who you are. More than 99.9% .9 of reality creation is done before you see or perceive it without or have any physical evidence of it. Hear this, all that you want, more than 99.9% .9 of it is already done. You creating your own reality, it's already manifested. 99.9% .9 of it, you just can't see that other 0.1% of it. Wow! So more than 99.9% .9 of reality creation is done before you see or perceive any physical evidence of it. That's why we say it's done. That's why in that video I said it's done, it's done, it's done. That's why Neville got it and all the greats say that. Do you hear that? It's all within you and it's already done. It's just you shifting your focus, right? From that, from that puny 0.1% of physical reality that you believe is unwanted, shifting it more within to that 99.9% .9 of potential of who you really are. It's not a journey from non-fulfillment to wish fulfilled. That's what we think it is. Like I, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go from this state of what I perceive as non-fulfillment to a fulfilled state. And when it doesn't happen or when circumstances seem to show the opposite, we feel more unfulfilled. We more, feel more unworthy. We feel more alone in the universe, as my client said. But what is it really? It's fulfillment to more fulfillment. You're already completely fulfilled, 
right? You're already everything. It's not about doing anything, right? There is nothing to do. It's all about being. And it's being more of who you really are. It's feeling, it's feeling more of that fulfillment that you already are. You're always going from fulfillment to fulfillment. It's a journey of fulfillment, guys. It's not a journey of non-fulfillment to fulfillment, right? That, that 0.1% is just a perception, right? And with, but even within that 0.1% is everything in reality, is all of it. It's all within you. Detached from the 0.1% manifested reality and the 0.1% of desired reality, right? You're attached to both of those. You're, you're either attached, a negative attachment, to the unwanted. You don't want it. So you're attached to that. That causes an attachment and you attract it or keep it current or keep it real. Or you want that, or, or you're attached to that 0.1% of desired reality that you don't see yet, another 0.1%. Your choice. And you live and move and have your being in the potential of who you really are. So move, detach from that 0.1% of reality, either the manifested reality or even the desired one. Detach from that all outcomes. And then move and live and have your being in that 99.9% .9 of potential. And then the 0.1% will reflect what you want. Do you see it? We're just attached to steering at that 0.1% looking for it to change into what we want. Do you hear this? Right? That's what causes the attachment. Detach from steering at that looking for it to change and for what you want. Go within and move and have your being in that potential for who you really are. When you do, when you make your inner reality, when you live and move and breathe and have your being there, that 0.1% will always reflect what your wishes will always reflect your fulfillment because you're living from within and out and not from out within. Do you hear this? Being nothing gives you everything. Be more of that nothing. Be more of that 99.9% of unseen. And then the 0.1% that you see will be everything that you want. So big. Being nothing gives you everything. I am your host, Tom Karen. And this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. Uh, it's an open group. You can join that at Be Something Wonderful, uh, sorry, facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. You can share insights and guidance with others or ask for insight and guidance from others or share your success stories. Um, also, you can join us on Instagram at Tom Karen or Twitter at Tom Karen. Or guys, for all of that information and more, visit our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. Creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. Until next time, this is Tom. See you soon.